y'all my understanding. She really did this herself, yo. And it's made with love. I don't need no store. Unique boutique. Remember that. Stay tuned for the DIY bit. DIY time. Yeah. What's up, Unique Family? Thank you for joining us for another DIY video. Today, you wanted to make you a rocking stocking such as these. So, please get your supplies and let's get it. So, first, you're going to start out by tracing your pattern onto cardstock, paper, tracing paper, whatever you have. Get you a curved ruler or a straight ruler and get to cutting. I folded the fabric in half, traced as many as I needed, and then I started to pin the two together so they wouldn't move while I cut. actual outside pieces I decided to use fleece I did not want the plain generic belt so I actually got about half a yard of each piece besides this gray Nintendo game one you see So here you see me doing my test piece on one of the name plates and because of the test piece going wrong, I ended up putting some stabilizer so that I could embroider. And stabilizer, if you guys don't know, it is water soluble and it will just allow the fabric to hold and not move while you're sewing. <music> So for the hook pieces, I use the scrap nameplate, cutting an inch wide and folding a quarter inch twice, then sewing. Now you see me doing what's called a basting stitch. And this is basically just to hold the felt and the fleece together. I use felt as a liner just to keep the fleece from stretching and give it some stability. Now I'm showing you how to hook on your hook piece and sew on the nameplate. Now we are going to connect the two sides so that you can create your stocking. You tack the hook piece in prior to sewing the stocking together. And you can do just a simple straight stitch in order to get the hook piece on. Being careful to slow down when you come across the hook piece on the edge. Now as you will see my stocking was actually the tester because I did forget to connect the hook piece prior to sewing them together and I had to hand embroider the bottom part of the nameplate and the outline of my letters. you want to carefully remove the basting stitches on both sides of the stocking and finish off using a top stitch just to have a finesse look. I just got to put the shameless plug out there because my baby be really doing the damn thing. And y'all don't even know. I could go to the store and buy a stocking to put up for Christmas. But why would I do that if I can get a custom made one by my baby? And it's what I want. <laughs> y'all my understanding. She really did this herself, yo. And it's made with love. I don't need no store. You need boutique. Remember. But yeah. I just thought I'd do a shameless plug because she really made this and it's freaking awesome and I like it a lot so I thought I would share it with you guys. But, uh, <laughs> back to where we're at.
Candy cane. Extra. Yeah, I want to extra. Now, I was gonna bless you put them on the tree, but I knew they weren't even gonna last this long. So y'all can get three. Wait a minute. Maybe first. Okay. One. Okay. Go in the kitchen. What do you say? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> 